Hey guys, welcome back to class. Happy Easter. We're so grateful that you and your families came to church to join us this morning. Today we're going to keep talking about the armor of God and we're going to talk about the good news and what Jesus did for us and why we celebrate Easter at all. So go ahead and get on your feet and we're going to worship Jesus this morning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will direct your path Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will direct your path the book of wisdom proverbs chapter 3 sing together and remember come and sing with me trust the lord trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your
house, Waldo. How's it going? Pretty good. What you doing? Not much. Do you want to do an egg hunt with me? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go do it. Yeah, we should get some other kids. I think it'll be more fun with more people. Yeah, that's a good idea. Should we? I go invite him over there? Oh yeah, let's invite him. Hey man, what's up? Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Luis, what's yours? My name is Waldo. I was wondering if you want to go play with us. No, I'm okay. I'm a little upset right now. Why are you sad? Well, my family keeps fighting and we just haven't stopped fighting and I don't know how to be happy again with my family. That is a problem. I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm sorry I interrupted you over here. No, it's okay. Bye. Hey, you ready? Did you get some other kids to play? Well, I went up to him. I went up to the kid and he seemed a little sad and he was like upset because he's fighting with his family. And I felt like praying for him, but I just felt really scared. And I wanted to tell him about Jesus, but I just wanted to get out of there. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes it can be really scary to pray for someone or to tell them about Jesus. But that's why I always wear this sticker on my shoe that says, always ready. Because Ephesians 6, it talks about how we need to have on the good news boots. That's telling people about all that Jesus did for us. Because I'm sure that he could use some, some hope and some encouragement. Maybe he doesn't know Jesus. Yeah, you're right. We should go invite him into the clubhouse and go tell him about all about Jesus. Yeah, and then we can come back and do the egg Yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay. <laughs> you guys some stickers so that you could put them on your shoe like me and remember nice. to always be ready to share the good news Amen. wherever you go always ready you know guys here in the bible in ephesians 6 verse 15 it says for shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared that's why i wear that sticker on my shoe that i was telling you about because we should always be ready to share the good news of what jesus did for us and Luis, the good news for you and for your family is that God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and take all of our sins and the bad things that we've done and, and even all of our burdens and the things that weigh us down and make us feel sad. But then he rose again. He has victory over everything. And that means that you and your family, you know, if you give your life to him, you can live with him forever. You never die. Yeah, that's really awesome. Luis, you should pray for your family. Yeah, I never knew that happened. I can't yeah. believe Jesus died and rose again. Yeah, I want to invite him to my life. Thank you so much for sharing the good news to me. Yeah. Let's pray. Jesus, I want to invite you into my life. Uh, thank you for dying and raising again for me and my family and my friends. Thank you, Jesus, for your truth. Uh, we leave these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 You guys want to go do that egg hunt? Yeah, yeah let's go. That sounds good. Hey guys, wasn't that an awesome skit with Oswaldo and Luis about how it's so good to be always ready to share the good news with other people? And the good news is that Jesus died on the cross and rose again for you and for me. Isn't that so awesome? That's what Easter is all about. But the good news boots, those are from Ephesians 6, the armor of God that we've been talking about. That reminds me of the verse we've been learning, Ephesians 6:11. It says, put on the full armor of God so that you can stand firm against all the tricks of the devil. Say it with me this time. Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand firm against all the tricks of the devil. Great job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna read another story to you. Long ago, God wanted to show us how much he loves us. God sent his son, Jesus, to die on a cross. This is Jesus here. Jesus didn't do anything wrong, but he died so that you and I could be forgiven and live in heaven with him forever one day. Does Jesus look dead or alive to you? That's right, he's alive. After Jesus had been dead for three days, he came back to life. Let's clap for that good news. Woohoo! 
Jesus met his friends on a mountain and told them to tell everyone the good news about God's love for them. They didn't need to be scared or nervous to share this good news because Jesus said that he would be with them. Even though it was hard work, Jesus' friends went all over the world to tell people the good news of God's love. God's love is good news that we can't keep to ourselves. We can put on the good news boots and they will give us the power to share this good news with everyone. Let me hear you say this after me. Put on the good news boots. Great job, you guys. I hope that you have an awesome Easter. Remember, it's not about candy. It's about Jesus. And don't forget to tell your friends about Jesus and his good news. Bye, guys. See you next week. He governs them His word is not passive It is not dead It's living And active The Lord is a stronghold For those oppressed Upon His shoulder They lay their head Their cries of affliction He won't forget He rises And answers in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in Him. I will rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in Him. Now praise my voice and bless Him. I'll praise my voice and bless Him. Good and perfect gift comes from